Hey everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape and it is middle of February. I don't even know the date because the winter, all the days just kind of blend together. And this video is way more just of an update on how busy we actually stay here at Aquascape in the winter because everybody says, you guys must go into a state of hibernation, you big grizzly bear looking pond builders. <laughs> and that's not it at all. In fact, we're so, so much busier in the winter that it's amazing we even have energy coming the summer. But it keeps us young, it keeps us excited, and we're doing some pretty cool stuff. So this week is Academy Week. We have over 150 contractors here to learn from us. Share some best practices, share some techniques. Right now, Chris is over there with 75, so I said 150, but 75 come in the first part of the week, and the other 75 come the second part of the week. And the first day is all hands-on. And not really hands-on, but they sit there and actually watch our four guys build a pond in four hours, which is really cool, because they just watch the process. But rather than me tell you, let's head over to Chris and see what he has to say about it. Build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks, Brian. We are in here. We've got Dan and Garrett over here. They are actually going to be installing what will be a fountainscape using the medium stack slate urn, a handful of cobbles and stone, about four or five bucks of gravel. We're gonna throw a bib liner on there and do a handful of lights as well in order to put it into a rendition of virtually what you see over there. So they're gonna put their spin out. I think you guys can make it look even better than that one, for sure. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. We're gonna dress it up and really dial in the artistic side. Nice. And that's the goal, right, is to show show these contractors and DIYers how to take this kit to its fullest potential. We will get into the money side of things tomorrow in Brian's sales class and everything like that, but at the very beginner level, which is the Fountainscape, and working your way up or graduating into ecosystem ponds, into larger projects, that's the whole goal. We wanna set the foundation here in the sandbox by demonstrating what these guys know how to do here on top of the large aqua basin and really show our customers and the attendees how to really take this space to the false potential, as I said. And then later in the afternoon, Jack, Dan, Garrett, and Jack Danley are going to build roughly a nine by 12 yes. foot pond with about a six, seven foot stream in through here. So we'll do that this afternoon. Can't wait to see what they do together for that. But you guys ready? Oh yeah. All right, nice. So I think what's so neat about the Fountainscape is the fact that all of this material, including the Aqua Basin itself, can fit in the back of a pickup truck, which again, really speaks to the level of intricacy or the level of difficulty for this project. It's very, very simple. There's not a lot of parts to it. All you really need is a wheelbarrow, a couple shovels, a four foot level, maybe some small hand tools, obviously a handful of material and just a strong back and an artistic eye to really create this fountainscape into something truly special and magical for the customers or for the homeowners or the attendees that we're showing today on how to install this. So, Jack, are you excited? Yes, I am. Yes? So, a few rocks, some gravel, the urn, the aqua basin, obviously a pump, all comes with silicone tubing. We're gonna do a handful of lights to really jazz this thing up and then we've got a stockpile of plants. We've got a bib liner that we're gonna put on it as well as another bell and whistle to help catch more of that splash to extend the footprint of the aqua basin as you've seen in some of our videos. We've got the geo grid. We are going to kill this thing today. Well, this is fun.
talking with some of the attendees about the project that they just installed. Super, super pumped with what they created. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We had a lot of great questions, a lot of interactivity. We have a huge group and they really nailed it under pressure. It's kind of like a coliseum style seating where everybody was surrounding them. So I was a little nervous for them. I knew they could do it, but man, they really knocked it out of the park. So check this thing out. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the driftwood element. I love the plants. They really went all out and took it to its literal fullest potential. It just looks incredible. They did a great job with the lights. Now, unfortunately, we've got to tear down this masterpiece in order to make more real estate for seating because after lunch, we're going to be attacking this pond. It's always something. And we are moving full steam ahead here at the Academy. So hope you guys are enjoying this. If you have any questions on how this went together, we'll be sure to put a link in the description down below as to some of the instructional videos for the Aqua Basin install. going on we have all kinds of other stuff going on if you can see the retail store over here things look like a bomb has gone off we used to have a pond here and another pond over here with a berm in the middle that had waterfalls that fed this one and this one greg had a vision of changing this entire space to look way more like what we've got going on in the sandbox where chris is at right now and creating a complete lifestyle type atmosphere in here complete with a seven by nine eight by ten ish pond nice little patio maybe Maybe some uh, trellisy type walls, really cool things that we're gonna hang from the ceiling, lots of landscape and everything else, helping to try to sell that. You look over here, there's a new addition, and it's this fish tank that Ed's been working on. You guys wanna see how this thing came together? Make sure you check out Ed the Pond Professor. But this is all being built for baby turtles, and they have done an insanely good job. So, it is all smoke and mirrors out there, folks. You see where we just finished six minutes ago putting in this urn. In, and now we have to tear it all down, cover it all up with our fake grass so that we can open up this space for these bleachers to be set right in here to allow for our guests to sit there as well as over there to watch this pond get built this afternoon. You can see Jack Danley over here kind of cleaning up the hole a little bit, just getting it prepped and ready for us to rock and roll this afternoon. Are you excited about this afternoon? I am. Yeah, it should be a good one. It's going to be awesome, man. Yeah. Well, it is about to be showtime again. People are filing back in after lunch. We've got the Team Aquascape guys behind me kind of strategizing as to how they're going to efficiently build this pond in front of all these people in four hours. I know they can do it, but this is kind of the calm before the storm, so really excited for them. You guys pumped or what? Let's do it, yeah. You guys ready? Woo! Yes! Next week, we're gonna rip out decks and kinda spend all of next week doing that. Tomorrow, Greg and I work with the rest of the CACs on our two-day academy class, doing more of marketing, the top 10, how to sail, all right? So the second part of the academy, Chris does the first half with that whole watch us build a pond thing going on over there, which is just awesome. Love it, we've never done it that way before. The second day is Greg and I's day, where we share with them the top 10 do's and don'ts
don'ts of running a business, which is so, so important. Things that we've learned, mistakes we've made, things that will only help your business as you continue to move through it. Marketing, which is of course Greg's favorite part. Sales, and then we finish the day with sales with me, teaching them how to close a higher percentage of their jobs and the process I go through with sales design consultation. So hey guys, we're gonna take you a little bit on that journey, but if you ever wanna see more, make sure you sign up for that university. Let's go see what Chris is up to and see what that feature looks like now. Chris, that was absolutely amazing. You did such an awesome job with that. Give yourself a big pat on the back. And Jack and the rest of the crew, make sure you give yourselves a pat on the back. The fact that you guys, day in and day out, are getting that thing done in four hours is pretty amazing. So now is day two. Let's go check out Greg Whitstock as he does the top 10 things in running a business. Bye. All right, you guys ready for marketing? Marketing. Yeah. Okay. Ready to learn how to Okay. Tell me why I'm showing a picture of the UPS driver. What's that? Because without a UPS driver, I might not, you might not be sitting here and I might not have a business. I was tinkering around in my backyard pond. I heard the doorbell ring. I yelled, come around back. And the UPS guy delivering a package walked around the corner, saw my pod and said, this is beautiful. How did you ever buy a house with a national spring on it? Is that a good compliment to a pot builder? I'm like, well, I built it. He goes, you did? Can you build me one? And I'm like, yes, I could. And so I was a 20 year old kid. I remember going back to my mom. <laughs> You can tell he's pretty passionate about marketing. That's marketing 101, right? You want to start getting into this business, build a pond at your place first. He's got 20 other marketing tips back there, YouTube and, and pond parties and pond tours and everything else. But that's the number one thing. Build a pond at your place and watch as you inspire everybody, your neighbors, your friends, the UPS driver, and getting another water feature. It's just such a cool thing. Hey guys, if you ever get a chance, check out our website. Go to aquascaping.com. AquascapeAcademy.com. Sign up for one of these classes. You won't, won't regret it. So we're looking for a home for these guys and not just these baby turtles, but all of these baby turtles. Look at how many there are. So awesome. We have probably 50 to 60 baby turtles in here. So I was hoping Ed and Trevor would be back there by that tank that they were doing and we'll get a little insight on them and why they're designing it the way they're designing it. Perfect. They're here talking with some guys from the academy. Trevor. I see Ed's talking. Sure is. Uh, we have our planted soil. We have our regular planted soil down in the bottom that we use for water lilies and things like that. So you guys are using the same thing? It's the same exact stuff. Some of the plants are going to go directly in that, that that require more nutrient value, and others are going to go directly into the gravel bed. So we have a little bit of a blend. Are you going to be dosing CO2 or just? No, no CO2 at all. Unbelievable. Probably a lot of the questions that our viewers have too, right? Yeah. But what's the whole purpose for this tank? Baby turtles. Baby turtles, right? Baby turtles. It's all for the baby turtles, yeah. And so what's the most challenging part? Honestly, working against the, the big filter towers that are here. So we had two big towers that basically all the plumbing had to run through. It made it super difficult for us to create elevation and get the turtles a spot where they could bask and hang out and whatever while also creating something that looked really good within a confined space, right? But otherwise, everything was just like a pond. Right? Yeah, just kind of stacking rocks and thinking of the edges and think of hiding this and hiding that, making sure you see no plastic which I can't see anywhere that's clearly a basking stone right in there yep. probably switching out these lights yep. for some grow lights and we got some grow lights that just came in we oh got nice kids for them but then we'll get a basking light in here too somehow but and then actually our uh, color changing lights are in here those are gonna be super cool they're gonna light it all up with colors and whatnot and yeah super awesome. cool and I see jets moving all over the place yeah. and so there's really more of like this skimmer in the inside 
the whole system is just like a pond where it, it all goes towards the same spot. So we have our skimming system, which is over there, but all the jets kind of are pushing in the same way, right? Like that's how we work on ponds. We start at one point and then the other point, so. Yeah, it's awesome. So those are the skimmers. That'll suck all the water. The water gets sucked through there, goes underneath the tank, pump sits down there, then feeding these random jets there. And Here. there's one right there. There's another one there. There's several of them throughout the whole thing. Well, you guys look like you're pretty close to firing this thing up. Maybe get it filled with water today? Yeah, it's gonna be filled nice. today. Nice. Final push. Final push. You guys wanna see the step-by-step -step process and how they did this and really more of the science behind it. You make sure you check out that guy's channel. Well, oh, there you go. Because <laughs> it'll be a super cool video. And that's something a lot of you guys might be able to do inside your house. All right, let's go check out the rest of the academy and see how Greg's doing over there with his marketing section. a wrap our seventh academy wrapped up we've got one more to go and every single one is just as inspirational for me as hopefully it is for those guys than the last i learned just as much as i hope those guys are learning i pick up something every single time and that's why people continue to come back year after year to come to the training i'm going to make sure you guys get to see greg's top 10 do's and don'ts for a successful business his top 10 things for marketing my five things for sales but if you want to get in depth make Make sure you check out that university, the link down below, and you can further educate yourself on living that Aquascape lifestyle. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Team Aquascapes. Hope to even more importantly, see and meet all of you guys at some point in the near future. Hey, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.